Hi guys, in this lecture you will be learning the different attributes of the input fields. So here you see that in the Facebook page, here I'm going to load the Facebook page. Here in this page you can see that uh, this is a text, this is a placeholder and there are many attributes are applied on these fields. So now I'm going to teach you these attributes. So here I'm going to edit this and create a simple text field and I'm going to give it the name is test and then the value is Peter. So now let's load it and here you see that we can edit this name we can put another name so this is editable if we don't want to allow anybody to edit this field so what we need to do here we just need to write the read only attribute so this field is become read only we cannot edit this field here you can see that we cannot edit this field this is a previous page so we cannot edit this field and you can also disable this field here I'm gonna give it the disable attribute here you can see that this field is disabled so it have the changed color and now we can also give the size to the field here is the size so size is the length of the field I'm gonna give it 50 so now its length is increased so here you can see that and you can also give the maximum length so what is the maximum length the maximum length uh, is just the number of characters you can input in the field here I'm gonna write the five so you can input the only five characters in the field I'm gonna remove it and put the characters here you can see that I am typing but the characters are not typed into this field and the next thing is the placeholder you can also place a text in the field that represent what this field about here you can see that this field is about the first name and you can also create the text in it here I'm going to remove this value and place a placeholder then equal and in between these double quotes you can write any text I'm gonna write the this field is for the first name so now let's check it here you can see that this field have the first name uh, text so when we write any text so the previous text is removed so this is the way we can use it and the other thing is the accept char set so what is the accept char set here I'm gonna write the form tag then we can understand it clearly here is the form tag so here I'm gonna write the method is post all the letters are capital in the method value and now here we can give the attribute accept char set the accept char set accept a specific character set values here I'm gonna write UTF-8 so now uh, you can input all the characters so now this form accept only those values that belong to this character set that is UTF so now uh, another thing that is uh, the no validate attribute here if we apply the no validate attribute then the values will not be validate when we submit the form uh, and the next thing is the autocomplete attribute so what is the autocomplete attribute here I'm gonna write the autocomplete attribute it automatically fill the field with the previous values like this here here uh, I have put the name Asad in this field so it shows the previous value here if I put the random values then it shows these values here here you can see that these are the two values which I have put in this field so I'm gonna create these auto fillings so what we need to do here I'm gonna write uh, input type is equal to submit 
and now let's check it here I'm gonna put some random text here is the random text so here you can see that this is the autocomplete this autocomplete attribute show the previous value we have put in that field so now the next thing is the require attribute here I'm gonna put the require attribute and I'm not gonna reload the page here I want to show you something here if I submit the empty field so it is submitted but here you can see that in this form when I try to submit the empty field so it shows the notification fill the fields so here uh, I have uh, write a attribute required so I cannot submit the empty fields here I reload the page so uh, here we need to remove the no validate function because require attribute validate this field here you see that when we uh, submit this empty field so it shows a notification so in this way you can use this attribute and the next thing is the encryption type so what is the ink type ink type is the encryption type and it have the three values first value is the text plane this is the plane so now when we give this value and when we uh, fill the fields and click on the submit so all the spaces are converted into the plus symbols and the characters are not encoded and all the characters are stored into the destination or into the databases and if we give it the value multiple multiple and here is the form data so now when we give this value so the characters are not encoded the characters are not in converted into the special characters or anything else it is just used for the heavy files when we submit the picture so this value break the picture into the small pieces and uh, the third value is the application 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 forward slash x ww and here is the form and here is the url encoded so now this is the value and this value is used when we want to convert the spaces and uh, when we want to convert the characters and the letters into some other letters or it is used to hide the data while submitting the form and the next thing is the pattern we can also define the pattern of the values a pattern of the given input here I'm gonna define the pattern so when we input the password uh, uh, while we are sign up for the Facebook ID so the password must contain the capital letters lower letters and the special character this is the pattern so here I'm gonna sh uh, specify a pattern it contains the capital letters and the lowercase letters here you see that it is a capital alphabets and the lower alphabets and then its quantity is 5 only five letters are allowed in this input field so now I'm gonna load it and here I'm gonna put the letters so here you see that please match the uh, requested format so now I'm gonna fulfill the format capital letter lowercase letter and the five letters so now it is submitted so this is the pattern and the next thing is the image you can also upload the image here I'm gonna copy this and remove it and here what you need to do just write the name and the type of the image if the image is placed in another folder then you need to write the complete address if it is in the subfolder then you are only able to write the subfolder name here the image is in the subfolder I'm gonna write a.jpg here is the images in the subfolder and now let's reload it and here we need to specify 
the width and the height of the image here I'm gonna write 200 pixels and then the height is the 100 pixel so now let's execute it here we need to change the type of the image here this is the source this is the source and here we need to write the type of the image here I'm gonna write the image and then here is a little error so write the type of the image and then source or the address of the image and now reload it and here is the image so then the next thing is uh, how we can upload the file here now I'm going to show you how we can upload the file here remove this width and here is and now remove it and now here I'm going to write the type is the file we have to upload the file so now we can upload the file on this page continue and here you can choose any file here I'm going to choose this file you can upload it avast ui exe and you can also upload the multiple files by writing the attribute multiple so you can select more than one files here you can select more than one files here you can see that here is a more than one files I'm gonna refresh it and now you can select here I'm gonna go into my directory and these are the two files so the two files are uploaded we can also able to specify the extension or the type of the file like image if we want to upload the image then we need to write the accept then equal and then double quotes and in this we need to write the image then forward slash static so now we are able to upload the image here's reload it and here now I'm going into my images here is only one image so you can upload only the image and you can also write the audio file here so you can upload the audio file if you write the video then you can able to upload the video file and you can also able to specify the extension like dot jpg dot uh, uh, png dot uh, any extension dot html dot php then it will upload that kind of file here I'm gonna write the html then it will upload only html type file because it have the extension of html here you creation and five websites and files so here you, you see that this is a image folder it have a image but it it is not showing the image because it have to upload the HTML file here if we select the HTML file so it load the HTML file so this is the way we can use the different attributes on the form if you have any problems so kindly add the discussion on Udemy I will help you as much as I can thank you for watching this video see you in the next video